Tab at School Maker Studio makes it easy to make stuff, regardless of your budget or technical expertise. If you want, you can cut simple designs by hand, but using inexpensive electronic cutters like these makes it easier and faster to create exciting projects, and it's a great introduction to the power of modern manufacturing technologies. You can create Maker Studio projects on mobile devices as well as desktop and laptop computers. But when you're ready to send designs to an electronic cutter, you'll need to use a Mac or Windows machine. First, on your Mac or Windows, launch Fab Print Server, a separate free app. The link to download Fab Print Server was sent with your login information and is also available in the user guide and on the Maker Studio website. When you launch Fab Print Server, you'll see something like this. You don't need to do anything. Fab Print Server works in the background to track your connection to your electronic cutter. If you select Fabricate when Fab Print Server is not running, you'll get a message reminding you to launch it. Now let's fabricate. Be sure your electronic cutter is turned on and connected to the computer with a USB cable. Then select Fabricate. The name of your electronic cutter and an image appears at the top of the Fabricate dialog. If you printed your design, check Use Registration Marks. Registration marks tell the cutter where your design is positioned so it can properly align the cut and fold lines. If you didn't print your design, leave Use Registration Marks unchecked. Choose your media here. The recommended blade setting is displayed to the right. Check your electronic cutter and adjust the blade setting if necessary. Place your media on the sticky side of the cutting mat as shown. Align the top of your media with the top of the grid. Position the cutting mat against the rollers and select Load Cutting Mat on your electronic cutter. Use Advanced Settings only if you want to manually adjust speed or thickness. You probably don't need to do this. Maker Studio automatically chooses the recommended settings for your media. Now the fun part. Click Send to Cutter. Watch the tool head on your cutter zip back and forth. Notice how it moves and sounds differently depending on whether it's fabricating cut lines or fold lines. When you're finished, select Unload Media on your electronic cutter and remove the project from the cutting mat. Select Cancel in the Maker Studio dialog to go back to the edit screen. If you're new to electronic cutters and run into a problem, Check troubleshooting in the guide. Once you've fabricated a few times, you'll be surprised at how easy it is to fabricate really cool projects with Maker Studio.